Hi everybody, my name is Angie Green and I'm here to do a collaborative for Beauty and the Beast. It's a new movie coming out and it is one of my favorites from when I was raising my daughter. So I'm real excited about doing this. And just by coincidence, my granddaughter, Aubrey, just asked if I could do paint a scene from Beauty and the Beast. She had nothing, no, knew nothing about this. So I'm excited about it for that reason too. Also, for those that don't know, I have a group in Facebook called Painting with Fibromyalgia. So throughout this video, you'll hear some tips on how to make painting easier. If you have chronic pain, fibromyalgia, or anything that's similar, we need to learn how to relax, um, make our painting enjoyable and therapeutic and not a drudgery and uh, something that makes us more sit, stiff and sore. So um, I hope you uh, enjoy some of the tips I'll be giving. And um, I'm not all that serious in everything that I'm saying. Take some chances. Don't throw away your canvas. There's never a need to throw away your canvas. Never. A lot of people re gesso over their canvases. I have never, well, once, once it was just that necessary, but it didn't even work because I had a lot of texture on it. And that was a long time ago, but otherwise I never really even gesso over my canvases because I don't usually use so much texture where I have to uh, work that hard if I wanted to fix something. First of all, go with fixing it. Leave it alone, walk away, put it away aside, even hang it on a wall because that really works. Then you look at it from a distance some later time when you're not expecting to and you go, well, you know what, I see what's wrong with that. I need to be a little bit more bold. That's typically what it is. Be with my uh, painting and not be so shy and then all of a sudden it starts coming out. Looking a little crazy here. So try that. Hang it on the wall. Look at it from a distance. See what you think. Don't put yourself under any pressure. Walk away from it. And then try So it. now I want to take a clean brush. And I'm going to really quick paint over her dress. I think I'm gonna flip it around because it's on the end. And, oh, that's so much easier. Can you see? Yeah. So I'm gonna paint her dress.
starting to it's starting to take shape, guys. Guys and gals. Alright. So her. Yeah. Yep. I like the filberty shaped windows too. Those are kind of cool. You just kind of go a little cross. Another one. Okay. See, now it's starting to look like a castle. Got my little light on. Got the lights on in the, in the castle. I'm telling you the truth. This is some castle. Right, you could put a whole neighborhood in this thing. I did see somebody's house one time. It was a, all I'm going to tell you was, it was a, a fighter. It was a boxer. Now a cousin that lived in a state where she knew where these exclusive, these fancy houses were that um, she knew would kind of impress me. And I'm not easily impressed. I don't know why. It's not like I had anything like that. But I don't get like crazy over money and stuff. I never did. Um, I really don't care. But I'm telling you, I never saw so many windows in my entire life. That house, we sat in front of it long enough to not get arrested. <laughs> Because I wanted to count the windows. I never could count the windows because I thought the police would come. That's how many windows were in the front of that house. And that's just the front of the house, okay? I'm telling you, it was unbelievable. That's how big that house was. Yeah. Um, this castle is even bigger. <laughs> Needless to say. Oh, goodness. All right, so I'm throwing some windows in there just for kicks and giggles. All right, somebody was talking about my expressions, talking about we hadn't heard them in a long time. I think some of that stuff is regional because I'm originally from Ohio, then I moved to the East Coast and I started hearing words I hadn't heard since my grandmother used to visit and we never said sneakers sneakers was just like it sounded like a grandma word to me and then i'm noticing that's more popular than the word we used to we used to say tennis shoes or gym shoes but then we moved to the east coast and they said sneakers and i was like wow and then i heard somebody say pocketbook i'm like now wait a minute i know that's an old word pocketbook really but i guess looking at my unfinished painting like that's uh okay here we go uh that was totally a grandma word to me i said pocketbook i remember my grandmother saying hand me that pocketbook i'm just doing some swipes down for these windows i'm like loving every minute of it i it just turned this thing into um an actual castle. Just with the shape of the filbert brush for the windows. I mean, I always, I like that. So awesome. It was an awesome discovery. Just telling you. Just telling you the truth. Okay. That's fun. I almost got a little carried away with these windows, but you know, so, so what? So I overwindowed it as I add more. That was fun. Wow, I don't want to be finished. I'm starting to have so much fun with this. What? All right, so now I still got the yellow. I can't believe I got to do that. I got to um, do my conservation thing. Can you see me? 
Okay, I'm going to go over this white now because the white's dry. I'm going over the white with the yellow. The yellow is, this yellow is very, very translucent. Even though it's a heavy body professional paint, good grief. Well, I'll make that work in my favor. I'll make it work in my favor. Um, people like to see brush, brush strokes. So I'm painting the front of her dress and I'm having tr <laughs> trouble seeing brush strokes. Because of where I'm painting, I'm getting ready to say something else. Anyway. Anyways. Um, so definitely with this paint, the brush strokes <laughs> are showing. Oh, goodness gracious. This was fun. I'm liking this. I'm really liking this. And especially the fact that my granddaughter is going to love it. She's going to be like, Zsa Zsa. That's my grandma name. Don't ask. Yes. Okay. I made it up. And my grandma name, namesake is gone. She was a tough old bird, man. What was she? 90 something? Zsa Zsa Gabor, she was 90 something, right? That's wonderful. I remember though, this might be why I named myself this. <laughs> she was tough. She went to jail. And I remember when this happened because I guess a police officer got fresh with her and she slapped him in the face. She either slapped him in the face or punched him in the face. She went to jail overnight. I mean, the classiest starlet, one of those starlet types, Zsa, Zsa Gabor with her Hungarian accent. She was the, the sister to the one in Green Acres. That was Ava Gabor. Why do I know this? But I don't know anything that's taking place today. <laughs> oh, what's that tell you? Anyways. Um, yeah. She's like, I'm not taking that. I don't suggest that kind of disrespect or anything. You know, you're supposed to respect authorities. But I just thought, wow, she's got like a lot to her. She's not afraid. And I guess she felt like she wasn't getting the respect because she's Zsa Zsa Gabor. And how dare you, whatever he did to her. And um, I guess she let him have it. <laughs> can't even picture. I can't picture that. I wouldn't even be around to tell you about it. I tell you that much. <laughs> oh. But anyways, I'm sure that's not what she wanted to be known for. <sighs> of course, that did come up. It came up, you know, when they talked about her. So I'm just painting my yellow I get into my little conversations all by myself. But anyway, you guys are listening, right? I'm painting my yellow bismuth, whatever color that was. But anyway, my yellow on top of the white that I put down. Your yellow is probably a different yellow. Hands of yellow or cat yellow. Please use that. Don't go out and get this. The only reason I'm using this is because...